Hello, everybody. I'm glad to come back your way with um, a little presentation with regards to our dear child, baby testimony. Of course, he's the VIP. Why all of us around the world have gathered? Because this quest to find him is real. One thing you will agree with me is the fact that everyone now agrees we're all on the same page that this child is missing and he got lost in the messy shrine on the 15th of April 2019. It doesn't matter what propaganda, what lies, deceptive activities going on from any quarter, we're all on the same page right now that that child is still missing. His mother doesn't know where he is. Well, my focus for this session right now is that precious baby of ours. I've been thinking about the situation he's been made to go through since he was abducted. While he was still a baby, the early days, early the year after he was, he's still a baby. He's a little boy now. He probably didn't understand what was going on. But he's five plus now. I'm just wondering. The rapid movement to relocate him, take him from one place to another, trying to conceal his identity. Um, how confused all of these activities will be bring, making this child feel. I'm just placing myself in his shoes. Last week, I had a little break. And to be honest, if I was back at still at work, maybe I would be more relaxed than I was last week because it, was, it turned out to be a very busy week. Nobody sent me. I gave myself things that I engaged in which were lovely and enjoyable because my birthday was last week as well. So it wasn't all unpleasant. It was fun, busy. I was busy, but it was fun, busy. But I'm an adult. That is only a five-year-old plus child. I'm just wondering how th these things he's been made to experience, the constant rapid movement. Today, he's somewhere the, the next he's somewhere that's i'm just thinking placing myself in his shoes what's going on in his mind his tiny innocent mind if people can join me to think about this he's only five plus but he must have gone through what many who are 50 40 and above, they have experienced in their entire lives. Guys, can we just pause for a moment? Take a break, wherever we are. Say a prayer on behalf of baby testimony. Our beloved sister of Matthew's son. Let's say a prayer. You say whatever prayer God lays in your heart for that little boy. Wherever he is. May he continue to be a thorn in the hands of those who handle him. May he continue to bring sleepless nights, restlessness, grief, sorrow, sadness, calamities upon everyone who has a hand in his disappearance. May his spirit continue to appear May the fire, thunder of God continue to chase everyone. The moment they close their eyes, they shut their eyes, whether they're intending to sleep or not. May this fire of God appear and chase them. May people begin to go mad, lose their sanity on because of this child. I do not care who was involved whether the patron of this, the shrine, his wife, 
his children, his followers, worshippers, sympathizers, reckless, senseless, foolish bloggers around the world, wicked mothers and fathers around the world, old women, old men who parade themselves as titled people but are reckless and careless about the life of this little child, may they all receive their just reward. We think about this child today and we lift him up before God that no matter what happens to him, no matter what these people do, may they never ever be able to get rid of him negatively. May he, may they light the fire of God, just as God stood with the children of Israel as a pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. May these be the guiding force around, behind, upon, beside, inside, wherever this child is. May these be his protective shield. May the presence of God abide with him. They will never be able to lay a finger on him. This is the presentation for today, guys. I hope you have said a prayer on behalf of baby testimony. Let's remember his mother too. She is the one in the middle of all the arrows that the enemies are throwing, are shooting. She is facing them all. Let's remember her to, to be strengthened, empowered, and be bold to carry on until baby testimony returns home. God bless you.